Hey, I'm Tim Mackey from The Bible Project, and today's verse of the day is Proverbs 17:17, 17, 17, which reads, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. We're meditating here on the value of close, loyal friendships that are as close as a close friend, or closer than that, even, of a relationship of, like, of a sibling. It's interesting, in the storyline of the Bible, um, sibling relationships are one of the primary ways the biblical authors explore what's right with the human uh, condition and what's wrong uh, with the human condition. Um, think of how many stories there are of brothers uh, betraying brothers or sisters betraying sisters. It begins with Cain and Abel outside the Garden of Eden. There's, of course, in Genesis, the story of Jacob and Esau, brothers who swindle each other. There's the story of Joseph and his brothers. There's the rivalry of Rachel and Leah, the wives of Jacob. And all of these stories are focusing on how it's impossible for human beings to truly flourish as images of God if they don't have a close web of tight-knit relationships surrounding them, enabling them to flourish. And so those are all negative examples through sibling relationships breaking down. But this proverb flips it over, and it meditates on the gift of having close, loyal friendships. So a friend is someone who loves at all times. I think most of us know what it's like to be loved and cared about some of the time, by certain people in our lives, but it's, if it's unpredictable, it's a really uncertain source of stability. In the same way, a true loyal brother or sister is born, they exist, they're born for times of adversity. I think the proverb is probably prodding us to begin to examine our own relationships. And if there aren't some relationships in our lives that we need to begin to prioritize more, to invest in more, because this person or this sibling is the kind of person that I actually need in my life to become the person that God has called me to be. So who is that person for you? And maybe uh, you need to give them a phone call today or send them a text. Maybe that's a friendship that you need to invest in more because it can truly become God's gift uh, to you.